What's up everyone, B-Boy Morcio and I'm here at Break Advice. Today I'm going to teach you one of my basics, some moves that I create out of the basic and I made in mine. And I'm going to explain you right, step by step, body control, strength, step by step until the real move. Okay, now comes, I will say, the main thing that you need to know how to do if you want to do a simple hair flare or any type of hair flare. As I just showed before, you need a control in one arm and another. Now comes, you need to know how to push your body in the air and you need to know how to land from another move in another arm. Both the push and the landing, you get to learn it from a single move that is simply this one. You go to a freeze, same as I said on the side, and you make a single jump, come back. Now I'll show you a little bit slowly how it looks like. I go to my arm, in upside down, I'm like this, I go to my arm, this never moved yet, I didn't jump. I bring my legs up here, and I will push with the shoulder and the legs at the same time. If I put the, push the legs and I don't move the shoulder, I will never jump. If I push the shoulder and I don't move the legs, I will need a superhero power to just lift myself. If I put those together, it goes like, boom. And then I'm able to jump, and as you can see, to land. Which means when I land, my body are stable. Why? Because I push and I land with all the same, exactly the same technique as I show. Boom. If I let a little bit like relax, I will do this. Okay, now comes the second arm. So this one, I will call it the push. No matter which arm you use to push, let's say my left one is the one. Now comes on the right one to land. I can work in the same exercise, but I will show you even another one if you want to. I'm standing and I will just jump which is gonna be somehow the landing. Or I'm gonna make a jump and the landing. And as you can see, if I'm able to receive the weight of my body out of the jump, I'm able to land on it. So now comes, let's try to combine the jump, let's try to combine the landing. So, as I said, I'm taking this line that people can see on the camera or out of my line. I will go on the side, I will make a freeze, as I showed before. And out of the freeze, I'm going to use the jump, which is the second step I show you. And I'm going to land on the other arm. I'll just show you quickly how it looks like. Boom, boom. Okay, okay, I do it again, slowly. I have a line. I go to the freeze, boom. And as you can see, I start with the freeze, I jump, and I land on the freeze. Now to make this happen, it's not magic, it's not because Marcel is showing it that it's easy like that. I'll show you slowly, step by step, how this goes like. First, when I'm going to the freeze, as you see, I'm driving my body with a power and a rotation movement in the left. So it means that my legs, everything come as a rotation. If I wanted to do a single freeze, I will just lock my shoulder here and I will come back, as I showed it in the beginning. Now what am I doing is I'm letting the power and I see my hand going so I give like an opening to my whole body, open body and I'm open which means if I let it I fall on my back but if I push I land in the other side. Now comes how to use the push to land exactly from one freeze to land the same level in the other one. So if I started to explain you from here, here I am in one freeze, I have to jump and make here. So there is many possibility direction to go. If I just make a straight one, which means I use my legs to push down here, it's gonna look like this. A freeze. So as you can see, I'm going fast, I'm traveling low, but when I land, I have not much like point of high with my body to control what I can do after that. So first thing, I showed you the transition from one arm to another with this direction. Now I will use the jump, 
high as I did in the beginning, the simple jump. And it will look like this. As a lot of people try it and make exactly the same one and think, how do the hell it goes to another one? It's simply, what I did now, I jump with my legs here. And at the same time, I try to drive my body in the other side. So if you make a little calculus mathematics, this one work, too low. This one work, but I can't land in the other one. So I gotta cross it like this, which means that I have to push with my legs in that direction. Why? Because I want to travel from here to here. So I'll show you how it is. I go here, drive, boom. And I do it again, freeze, boom. And as you can see, I can have so many possibilities when I land in the second arm that I can play with it later on. Now comes the level when I want to show you the move I want to do. So, as I showed you, it's just a transition from one arm to another. No rotation. I mean, not this rotation, just the line. Now for a simple half layer, which everybody know my half layer, I just open my legs and I show you slowly how it looks. Boom, freeze here, freeze here. And you see, it's exactly the same technique as I showed before. Everybody know what a half layer is, how the half layer looks like. So, I specialized myself out of many years of dancing to create my home moves. One of them that I'm gonna show now, I don't have a specific name for it. I think, I guess, it's my, just my ID, one of my ID moves. So, I just show you right now like this, how it looks like without jumping in half and then I go to the half to show you how it looks like. So, when I'm landing from half I'm gonna touch one feet in this position. What I'm gonna, is the landing arm that I'm in. I'm gonna jump, without touching the floor, change the same one that I grabbed and arrive in the second one. And then from here, I'm gonna push and do the same thing again. So as you can see, there's a moment of the landing, I'm push and nothing of my body touch the floor and I have to switch the feet to land in the second arm. So in theory, when you think about it, there's something really fast that I have to do because, so if I'm here and this is the floor, right? If I'm here and I'm touching and I push and I switch to here, it's not even like quarter to a second to make it happen, which means that I have to turn my body and my hip real quick, switch my arm real quick and move my feet real quick. So it's a lot of things together in a really short time. So let's go back to mathematics, which is a little bit there. I'm going to land, if I land here in the front, that you can see the possibility of timing until I put a second one is too short. So I got to think to get more time to play in the air without touching the floor, I gotta land here. So which means on a freeze. If I jump from here and I arrive here, as you can see, there's a lot of more space of time to play and make any move that I want to. So from this one, touching a feet here to another, I have to turn my whole body in one. So. To make that work, first of all, you gotta work into, without making the half layer, to make just the front transition clear. So, okay, so you make this exercise a couple times to have a feeling how fast is it that your brain understands what the body needs to do in a really short time. If you try to make it without this exercise, what is gonna happen is gonna, you land on your one arm, you're gonna jump, and without even realize you're gonna land in the second one again, and you're gonna think, shit, I didn't even thought that I had the time to make it, and nothing changed. You just jump from one arm to another. So this exercise, it's one of the most important tools that you need to work on to understand the transition. Let's say that this is my move. Let's say that this is, out of my move, this is a technique. The technique that you understand on the really short time, how to move your leg, to move your body, how to jump, and how to change the shape, the speed, all in one, in a quarter than a second. You need to understand that those exercises, those part of control, give you a lot of possibilities for any type of movement that you can think about, that you can create, so out of this move, what you can learn, this is what I'm giving you to you, is a space of time and a control that you can get out of an idea. And about that, you can 
give to your body a possibility to create your own, your own stuff. So if the person who's watching this video want to make the same move and want to practice it, take it. Because out of it, the work that I've done for so many years about controlling and about looking for moves, that part of the control will give you the knowledge about how your body and your possibilities of control can make. So now I'm gonna just show you slowly out of the hair flare how the move goes on. Okay, so as you can see, just what I did before, it goes really fast, so I stopped about one, but you just have a time to understand, even visually, you know what the move is about, but all I explained before makes you realize the quarter of second that it is to just from one arm to another, change the whole shape. So, let's say that that move is mine. Whatever the part of it, whatever the ID belongs to, that control, that I worked on give me possibilities to play and make every single position that I want to in a hair flare. So if you take a minute to think about it, that is just an example of every type of move that you can think about, every direction, control, moves that you find that nobody does. There is so much knowledge to get into that if you apply this kind of techniques that I just do, if you add that, into your own ID, your own moves, your original ID, you became yourself. And this is what I'm working on, just become who you really are and not who the people looks like or who you get inspired to. Just create your own knowledge, body, control, creativity, all that. Okay guys, this was Big Boy Marcio, break advice, and I hope this really advice you. Всем привет, это Бибой Арсекс на проекте Break Advice. Мы находимся в Голландии, город Эйтховен, на тусе World Be World. Итак, сегодня на моем уроке мы рассмотрим концепт, как придумывать свои собственные движения на примере базового движения CC.